Recon Therapy Institute. I'm Stuart Klein, Executive Director. It is my honor to welcome you to this special occasion, including staff and patients in the lobby and everyone watching on Facebook Live. We've reached a major milestone, our 15th anniversary, and we're proud to share this moment with you. When we opened our doors all those years ago, we were the first proton center in the Southeast and the fifth in the nation. And we continue to lead the way with delivering more than 320,000 proton treatments, over 65 clinical trials, and more than 250 peer-reviewed articles. All of this was accomplished by an exceptional team of physicians, radiation therapists, nurses, dosimetrists, medical physicists, and support staff who are all dedicated to improving cancer care for our patients. To each member of the UFHPTI team and to our friends at IBA that maintain our proton systems, your professionalism, dedication, and commitment to care for our patients is an inspiration. I'd like to turn your attention to the video screen for some more messages. On behalf of the entire University of Florida community, congratulations on celebrating 15 years of exceptional cancer care and treatment. May you continue to save lives for many more years to come. Hi, I'm Michael Burgan, president of Visit Jacksonville, congratulating you on 15 years of bringing visitors to our city that go home healthier than they were when they got here. Congratulations to the UF Health Proton Therapy Institute for 15 years giving effective, safe, advanced radiation therapy treatments for patients from around the world. UF Health Proton Therapy Institute, congratulations on celebrating your 15 big years. Thanks for your life-saving cancer treatments. Since 2006, your cutting-edge cancer treatment innovation has saved thousands of lives, and your institute is not only a leader in treatment in the Southeast United States, but also a world-class leader as well. We are proud of the institute and your staff. Happy anniversary from all your friends at the Jacks Chamber and Jacks USA Partnership. Congratulations to the University of Florida Proton Therapy Institute on your 15th anniversary of proton therapy and on saving thousands of people's lives. Thank you for letting me be part of 15 years of extraordinary successes in proton therapy. Happy anniversary from all your friends at IBA. I then see I to a high old UFPTI team. 50 years of patient treatment, it's incredible. And we did that together, but you have the most extraordinary team, I think, in all the world of proton therapy. I don't think any of the facility has treated patients better or more efficiently. That's absolutely great. Congratulations to you all. Congratulations to the UF Proton Institute for providing exceptional patient and family-centered cancer care for 15 remarkable years. Happy anniversary and congratulations to the UF Health Proton Therapy Institute. It's a fantastic decade and a half of patient-centered care, and we are so proud of what you've done. Hello, I'm Lenny Curry, Mayor of Jacksonville. Today, it is indeed an honor to congratulate the UF Health Proton Therapy Institute for 15 years of excellence and dedication to the passion of cancer care. This institute chose Jacksonville to build this world-renowned treatment was at the forefront of proton therapy in the entire country. It has truly served as the model for other health institutions, advancing cancer treatment with academic research, radiation oncology, residencies, and fellowships. I commend the work of Dr. Nancy Mendenhall for unwavered dedication to patient-centered care and a commitment to research and advancing technology. The team of physicians and staff have made the UF Health Proton Therapy Institute what it is today. We appreciate the kind yeah, word. <laughs> he was really excited about it. Yeah. We appreciate the kind words offered by so many of our leaders. And now it is my pleasure to introduce my partner, who is the U of Health Proton Therapy Institute Medical Director, Dr. Nancy Mendenhall. Dr. Mendenhall is professor and associate chair of UF College of Medicine Department of Radiation Oncology. She is a true leader in the field of radiation oncology. It was her really, really her early recognition of the potential of protons that led to the development of the Institute. 
She's at the vanguard of clinical research that is helping to provide evidence to proton therapy's effectiveness. And her expertise in patient care and accomplishments in academic medicine are noted by her peers and the community alike. Among the many awards recognizing her contributions, in 2020, she was the David A. Paulus Award winner for clinical excellence. In 2020, she was likewise given the award uh, from the Girl Scouts of Gateway Council Women Who Make a Difference. In 2018, she was recognized as a clinical researcher, clinical science researcher of the year. And in 2016, she was inducted as a fellow in the American Society of Radiation Oncology. Please welcome Dr. Nancy Menemal. Now you can clap. Thank you. Um, Stuart, thank you so much for that very special, warm introduction and for the extraordinary contributions that you've made to the success of the organization since day one. Um, I would also like to thank all of our esteemed guests who are here, our staff, our physicians, our caregivers, and everyone who's watching uh, online. From the beginning, it's been our mission to find ways to make cancer treatments better for patients. We knew that proton therapy had the potential to make a profound difference in the lives of our patients, both in terms of cure rates, but also in terms of quality of life after treatment. The data that's emerging through the treatment of more than 9,700, almost 10,000 patients, dozens of clinical trials and hundreds of studies shows that the use of proton therapy can achieve better cure rates, excellent toxicity rates, better function of important organs like the brain, the heart, the lung, fewer second cancers, and we believe ultimately lower health care costs because of the reduction in recurrences and, and toxicities. When compared with conventional radiation, we are continuing to study ways to improve cancer treatments for our patients. Um, we're currently leading a national comparative trial called COMPARE in prostate cancer where 51 institutions are enrolling 3,000 men with prostate cancer to document the differences in outcomes between proton therapy and conventional radiation. And uh, our chief of uh, physics, um, Perry Johnson, has just received a grant to use innovative mixed reality technology to improve the accuracy and the efficiency of our treatment deliveries. And there are many other emerging techniques and technologies being developed and many other studies ongoing here at the institution and almost every disease site. We remain committed to patient-centered care that provides support for the person being treated and their caregivers and family members. Patients are typically treated over the course of six to eight weeks and it's a commitment uh, that that patient has to make to be here and our commitment to them is to support them while they're here. Whether their symptoms are mild or difficult, their decision to show up every day is an inspiration to us and we're challenged and we want to make things as good for them as we possibly can. Nearly 10 years ago, a young girl named Audrey Anderson traveled all the way from Australia to be treated here. Um, she was joined by her parents, her siblings, and ultimately an uncle. One day, while waiting for Audrey, or Odd as we called her, during her daily treatment, her uncle and mother sketched a design for the chime that you see right over here to my left side. After your planning and engineering, the chime was created, delivered, and installed. Odd and her family returned from Australia to be the first person to ring this chime in January of 2013. And ringing the chime has become a tradition that every patient who's treated here looks forward to. It's a signal that they've completed an important milestone. A poem that was written by Odd's parents, Sue and Wendell Anderson, sums up the symbolism of the chime. My time has come to ring this chime, a simple sound, a simple sign, 
that tells the world this is my time to cherish the help that I will find. This message of hope permeates this space and inspires every one of us, patients, caregivers, and staff alike each day when we hear the gentle melody of the chimes and the applause that follows the ringing of the chime when another person completes treatment. So today, what a better way to mark our 15th anniversary of the facility than with this chime of hope. Um, it's with great pride and we trust our patients and families have placed in us the accomplishments of our staff through their commitment to excellence and the support of our colleagues and community that I have the honor of ringing the chime today 15 times. You'll have to help me count. actually absolutely 15 times wasn't that that's was great so I, I just want to share with you an opportunity to help us to continue our mission the James A Doss Foundation has issued a generous challenge in honor of our 15th anniversary they have pledged to match every donation made this year dollar for dollar up to hundred and fifty thousand dollars this challenge means that your donation in any amount will have a double the impact I'm honored to say that we received a gift today from a donor who has stepped up to the challenge. Thank you, Mrs. Michelle Billings, for your generosity. And she enclosed a note with her gift. And I quote, It is with great pleasure that I am donating this gift to honor Drs. Nancy and Bill Mendenhall. Twenty-some years ago, I remember Dr. Nancy and Bill telling us about the advent of proton therapy. And now, just 15 years later, they have made UF the proton leader, helping to save so many lives. The dedication that Drs. Nancy and Bill have contributed to this project have made it the success it is today. Please accept my deepest appreciation of their work and congratulations on this 15-year milestone. I speak for everyone at UF Health Proton Therapy Institute in saying thank you to Mrs. Billings and to the James A. Doss Foundation. We know your generosity will help to improve treatment of cancer patients for years to come. And we certainly hope that your example will be an inspiration to others. For anyone interested in how to make a gift online, more information is available on our website. So this concludes our ceremony. Thank you all for participating, and happy anniversary. <laughs>